Hello guys and welcome. We are back with another review and this time we are doing Storm Shadow from G.I. Joe Classified Collection. Uh, this guy, like, all, all of the G.I. Joes really, come with so many good accessories and that you can interchange with all the other uh, lines and stuff. Bit of plastic there from the unboxing. Um, from all the other lines and I've taken this guy away uh, played about with some of his articulation as well, and he is great. It's just what you'd expect from uh, GI Joe. So what I'll do is I'll go through what he comes with, and then we'll go over the figure as always. So comes with his kind of uh, like sheaths and oh, quiver uh, for his arrows. He also comes with. Uh, a loose arrow as well which is really cool so you can actually have an arrow flying through the air um, comes with the bat fin I think this goes where does this go I forgot where it's... it goes on something but it comes with that um, two swords which are really nice got a nice sculpt on as well um, like cobra kind of sculpt and uh, an arrow with a bow which is like the um, similar to the bow that comes with Hawkeye from Marvel Legends and a hood that you can attach onto his head but he is quite tight so you kind of have to take his head off and put it on that way because it does have a loose bit here that you can take off um, but we'll play around with that in a bit so we'll go over his articulation um arm wise he goes quite way up goes that far he's also on a butterfly joint quite a stiff butterfly joint but still he's on one uh his arm goes back that far and all his joints are stiff forward that far sort of the way and we'll see shoulder rotation and bicep swivel Double jointed elbows, uh, forearm swivel, and rotation at the hands. Uh, I can't see that there's any kind of articulation on the hands. I have played about, um, which there isn't. There is like a tiny hinge, but it doesn't do much. Um, crunch wise, he goes down that far and back quite away that way. Um, head goes all the way around on the ball joint and up that far, down that far and I will um, put the hood on and then we'll see what the articulation is like with the hood on as well. Uh, legs, like all GI Joes, go out all the way uh, forward. They're on those weird kind of joints so you lift up and stuff. Forward that far, back not so far and He's on upper thigh rotation, double jointed knees, and he's got boot swivel, and his ankles go down that far, and up that far, and they're on a pivot as well. So what I'll do is I'll quickly cut, and we'll put his head on, and then we'll uh, have a look at the articulation with his hood on. So we're back. Um, here he is with his hood on. Um, it's quite, it's not fiddly, but you have to put, so you have to take his head, head off, put this on, uh, take this off, put the hood on, and his head in at the same time, and then just push down and it should clip in. But it is quite fiddly. Um, so his articulation wise with the hood doesn't hinder it too much, but it goes down that far and up that far, but then you get that kind of weird, the hood comes up as well, so. Um, you get less kind of articulation with the hood. Um, we'll put his quiver and stuff on, see what that looks like. Like that. Oh. Lost. Where's the bit gone? There it is. Oh, come on. That is stiff. There we go. We're in. No, we're not. There we go, now we are. Right. So that's in. I don't know, it feels quite loose. Uh, 
don't know if that will stay in for long, so I have to watch that one. Uh, put his, won't put his swords in. His bow, where that hooks on here, by the looks of it. And that's another thing with these GI Joes is like they they come with places that you can put all the different accessories they come with, um, which is brilliant. I mean, you don't get that anywhere on any of other kind of figure lines. Still don't know where this goes though. If anyone can help in the comments, that would be great. Oh, there, there it is. It hooks onto his belt. Uh, there. There's like a little board here, it hooks on. Which is weird. Is it even worth it? Let's have a look. Right, it's on. Right, so that's on. Get him holding his uh, swords. Pick this guy up from um, Nerd Base again. Um, they just got them in, um, and I've got him for a good price as well, twenty quid. So um, where figures are going up, these guys still seem to be staying at their normal price, which is even better. So there he is in all of his glory. Um, I have got um, Spirit Iron Knife here for height wise, um, same sort of height, so stands at six inches. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for photos at the end. Thank you and goodbye.